Hey, it's Vanessa. Welcome back to Craption Irls. Um, today I'm going to talk about some explicit material, so be forewarned. I want to talk about swear words or expletives in captioning. Now, with captions, you really cannot make changes. You have to represent and give access to what is actually in the audio of the video. So recently, another captioner consulted me and she asked if she could change a word in the caption because they had had it wrong in the video. Someone used a, a word out of context and it didn't make sense. And she, she knew that she could guess what the correct word was. And I had to advise her that you can't. It is not our right to change the content. You have to give access to what is on tape. Another example, um, though, about swear words is uh, recently I saw in Orange is the New Black, Netflix had left in an expletive, which is good because that's truer to the content, and also that is their house policy. So I was very surprised to see that although they had kept it in, it was spelled wrong. And I s sort of think this was a way of getting around any complaints about vulgarity. So of course, in this example, they should have written out the word come spelled C-U-M. That was not their um, right to either change it or else the captioner wasn't very good and didn't actually know how to apply the content. Now, some house style guides will insist that they cannot use the actual swear word written out, so they'll use sort of nonsense characters like what I'm going to show you in the caption. But basically, whatever their style guide is, ethically, you need to reproduce what is in the audio. I've written more about this on my blog in talking about um, opera surtitles and other examples about expletives. If you want to check that out, it's on my website, realwords.ca, under the blog post tab. Thanks, hope that helps. We'll look at some other questions another time. Bye.